Here I have a syringe and I'm going to demonstrate pressure differences as the gas is compressed or expanded. Right now I have the volume in the syringe at 12 milliliters, 12 milliliters of air. Since this is open to the atmosphere, the pressure inside is one atmosphere. But if I close this in from the atmosphere, if I seal this in from the atmosphere and then start compressing, I'll change the pressure inside. Now I'm starting to compress the gas and the air fights back. So it gets difficult to push the plunger in. As the volume shrinks, the pressure rises. So now we're at about half the original volume, which makes it so the pressure is doubled. It's now two atmospheres. Now I'm compressing it even farther down to about four milliliters, which makes it three atmospheres. And this hurts my hand. It's very difficult. The air always wins. That's probably my maximum there. And, and we're getting close to four atmospheres in the syringe. When I release it, you can see the air inside pushes the plunger back out. So why was that so hard to push down? It looked, it looked like there was nothing in the syringe. Atmospheric pressure is 14.7 pounds per square inch. Let's say that's 15 pounds just for the sake of mathematical ease. 15 pounds per square inch. If I were to double that, two atmospheres is 30 pounds per square inch, triple is 45, four atmospheres is 60 pounds per square inch. Now the syringe plunger, I've taken it out, uh, is not a square inch here. It's smaller than one square inch. You can see that if I hold it up next to a ruler, this plunger is not an inch across, but it's about a third of a square inch. I did the math with uh, geometry, pi r squared, area of the circle. So when I scrunch this down to four atmospheres, I have to push with 20 pounds of force, 20 pounds of force, and that, that hurts. You can see my thumb is getting smushed with 20 pounds of force right there. Here's the indent in my thumb where I was pushing. 60 pounds per square inch is four atmospheres. And that means 20 pounds on a third of a square inch, which, which is the size of the plunger, a third square inch cross-sectional area. Here's another demonstration now but I have no air in there. So I'm pushing out all the air, sealing it, and now I'm pulling. And it's hard to pull, it's hard to pull, it's hard to pull, it's hard to pull. And when I let go, it goes right back in. So this is an example of a vacuum. Inside the syringe there's no air, and therefore there's nothing pushing on the plunger from the inside, but there's plenty pushing on the outside because here, boom, 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 air molecules are pushing 14.7 pounds per square inch, just the little molecules hitting, the invisible molecules hitting, are pushing on this with 14.7 pounds per square inch. And so that forces plenty to move this plunger back where it came from, almost magically. Here I have a much bigger syringe. This is a 60 milliliter syringe. And right now there's 60 milliliters of air at one atmosphere pressure. If I try to scrunch this down, I can barely get it to two atmospheres. There's no way I can get it to four. So you can think about why is this syringe so much harder to compress? Why can I not get this one to four atmospheres like I could with the little syringe? Here's a hint for you. I'm hoping you can see the measurements here. 
take a look. The big plunger versus the small plunger. These have different numbers of square inches. And it's pounds per square inch. So this one's probably about almost one square inch. And so at two atmospheres, that's already 30 pounds pushing on that one.